I'm Paul Quigley. I'm director of the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies, which is based in the history department here at Virginia Tech. And people are often surprised to hear that the director of this center is an Englishman. But I grew up in Manchester in Northern England and only really got interested in Civil War history as a university student. So when I decided to go to graduate school, I figured it, that I should go uh, to the place I was going to be studying. So I ended up at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where I did my MA and PhD. And then after that, I actually went back across the Atlantic. I got a job at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, and I taught uh, American history there for several years before coming back in 2013, across, back across the Atlantic again to Virginia Tech. And it was such a fantastic opportunity to be able to take over the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies and build on uh, the foundations laid by my predecessors, uh, Bud Robertson and Jack Davis, uh, that I just jumped at the chance and have uh, enjoyed being here ever since. The Virginia Center for Civil War Studies is based uh, right here at Virginia Tech in the History Department. And our mission is a really straightforward one. We aim to promote the study, the greater understanding of Civil War history among as wide an audience as possible. So we put on a variety of public programs related to Civil War history. And throughout the year, we also have other kinds of events here at Virginia Tech. We have, for example, visiting speakers who come in fairly regularly. One of my favorites is the Civil War film series, which we've been doing for a year and a half now. We rent out the Lyric Theater in Blacksburg downtown. It's a great community facility. And we show a Civil War movie we then bring in a speaker to talk about the significance of the movie, put it in historical context, that kind of thing. So whether we're dealing with students or members of the public or the professional community, um, we're always looking for new ways to get people interested in Civil War history and providing new opportunities for them to learn about the many aspects of Civil War history that they're interested in. There are a couple of reasons why we chose the library to hold this exhibition and the first one was sheer numbers. We were aware of how much traffic the library gets. We use the library ourselves regularly. So just the volume of people that get to see the exhibition here in the library was a major factor. The other thing is that we knew going into the projects that we were gonna be using lots of artifacts, images, documents, and so on from special collections right here on the first floor of Newman Library. Uh, 100, 150 years old in some cases. So the proximity to special collections was also an important factor in choosing Newman Library. And the other factor which wasn't apparent at the beginning of the process, but really became apparent through the course of planning the exhi exhibition, and certainly now it's in place, is the wonderful partnership with the university libraries, and especially with Scott Fralin, the outreach specialist here. He's been just a wonderful collaborator. He's helped us design the concepts. He's helped us to figure out how to implement our ideas, how to display uh, the things we wanted to display in a very attractive format. And so now looking back on the process, I'd say that's a major, major reason for holding an exhibition at Newman Library.